Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to share with you what I consider to be 10 of the top WordPress features as of the current version in 2017. So I have a write-up on this, which you can find the link to down below, but this is the video version. So getting started from the top, and not necessarily in a particular order, but number one, uh, easy to learn backend interface. So as you can see right here on the Chris Tutorials website, it's running WordPress. And uh, you got a lot of different sections over here on the left for creating posts, adding media content like images, uh, adding static pages, managing your comments. And then uh, some of these sections are actually added by plugins. But for the most part, uh, as long as you can follow a menu, you can access and change most of this stuff within WordPress just by using the WP admin interface. So this is a really nice component of WordPress and it's one of the main reasons you would even want to use a content management system or a CMS to begin with, uh, simply because for the average non-techie user or even for techie users, it really simplifies uh, creating content for your website and managing that content as well as extra features like plugins. So uh, another thing I would point out, and this is more with the 2017 version of WordPress, is that it has some pretty strong out-of-the-box themes. Currently, I'm running the voice theme by Max, which is a premium theme. But uh, I've been taking a look at the 2017 theme, which is the out-of-the-box default WordPress theme. And uh, you can kind of see here that just from the menus, even though it's a little bit basic, it's actually quite nicely designed being able to just have uh, one of those... I forget what they call them, but the, the giant image splash screen uh, as your home page, um, nice looking font choice and overall good design. So as far as free themes go, uh, 2017 seems pretty dang nice to me. Um, now, ultimately, of course, you might want to go with a premium theme, and there's a lot of support for that as well on WordPress, because obviously, uh, since you can kind of oversee um, on the source perfectleads.com slash market share slash WordPress, that WordPress is huge as far as CMSs go. And according to this particular source, is the majority of what uh, CMS-based sites are on now. Now, uh, that's not going to count all websites. Not all websites have a CMS, but a lot do. And when it comes to CMSs, WordPress is currently king and has been growing over the years. Uh, so, yeah, because it's big, you have more third-party themes. And... Yeah, I guess that kind of leads into the next point, too, with third-party page builders. It's not just themes that there's a lot of, but a lot of third-party plugin support, um, especially page builders, has been added to WordPress. So if you want to build a custom page, um, in WordPress you have page templates or page builders. Page templates are kind of reusable, and you apply them to each page, and it helps define the layout of that page or what elements might show on it. But an even easier way to do that without like needing to mess around with PHP code or anything like that is to use page builders. Um, there's a lot, <laughs> obviously, in the you just go in the plugin store and you can find them. Uh, like one site origin page builder, that's a pretty popular one. Um, and there's a lot that have free versions, and then you can upgrade to premium if you want to get all the features. Uh, but yeah, they're quite nice and really help to make making pages quite easy. Um, next up. It's well documented and there are plenty of tutorials. So obviously I'm one of those guys out there who's creating content to uh, help users out with WordPress and other web platforms. Um, but also on the official site, um, like on the WooCommerce, uh, which is e-commerce basically for WordPress, they have a lot of write-ups for that. Um, just about anything you want to know for WordPress, someone somewhere out there has written something about it. So it being pretty well documented is going to make it easier for you or whoever's working on your site to help you get set up and building the site. Um, being the first one to kind of jump into something usually puts you at a disadvantage because you have to be the guy who has to figure everything out from scratch, and that is a pain. Uh, next up, and this kind of applies to all CMSs that you put on your own web server or paid hosting online like DreamHost. Um, but you have full control over your website's content, assuming you are the one who has the login account for that server. Uh, you can add plugins in, you can change your theme, you can edit the source code of WordPress, which is really not recommended because, you know, the second you go deleting things like WP config, you're going to break your site. 
Um, but whatever you want to do with WordPress, you pretty much have complete access to go ahead and do. Uh, it's one advantage over something like Weebly. It can also be a disadvantage, obviously, because that means there's more things that you can break. But uh, if you want to have that fine-toothed full level of control, then uh, something like WordPress or alternatives like Drupal or Joomla are going to serve you pretty well. Next up, uh, category tag and post organization. So we can kind of see on uh, this page, this is one of the posts, well, the posts that I was talking about at the beginning, the write-up for this video, really. Um, but with your uh, different posts, basically blog posts or articles that you write, you can categorize them and you can also add tags to them, which are ways for users of your site to navigate through it uh, to find similar content and to basically find the content they want. So on my site, I might have a few articles about gaming, but I also have WordPress articles. And by having them categorized, it makes it really easy for people to find the content that's relevant to them. Uh, so this is pretty basic to CMSs, but uh, you definitely want to have this kind of thing on a site that's going to be scaling up. Uh, since if you have a thousand pieces of content, but it's hard to sort through them, it's going to be a pain. I would also say as a bonus, uh, they have search uh, functionality built out of the box. So uh, people can just search by terms on your website as well. Um, okay, next. So there's no free, uh, no fee to use WordPress, and this also applies to many other CMSs like uh, Drupal. But um, for the code itself, the software that you're running, uh, WordPress out of the box does not cost you a dime. Now that does not mean it's going to be free to build a website, but it's a good starting place. You can try it out for free. Um, try running it on DreamHost or Triple O Webhost if you want something totally free. Um, and figure out where you want to go from there if you need to get developer support or that kind of thing. Um, but it's nice to have because um, basically there's not going to be any pay gates as long as you're not using third-party plugins. And what you see is what you get. Now, when you do start adding third-party plugins to your website or themes or that kind of thing, it, it likely is going to cost you some money like you can try woocommerce out for free that's the e-commerce platform uh, most wordpress sites that have a store are going to use that and it, it's free initially but then they also have plugins that add extra functionality and you may need to pick that up down the road depending on what your specific site's need, site needs are but it is still a nice plus definitely okay so uh the plugin system for wordpress is pretty extensive you can find a huge amount of plugins just by going over to the WP Admin interface. Plugins, add new, and search their uh, giant repository on the main WordPress website. Alternatively, you can just go to the website manually. Um, also, there are sites like ThemeForce, or, or really it's Code Canyon for plugins, but ThemeForce for themes, where you can find tons of third-party support. So there's going to be some that's premium and some that's free. And some that's freemium where you can try it for free, but if you want to get all the features, you got to pay for it. Uh, but just about anything you want to set up on WordPress, someone somewhere has written something to help you do that. So that's really nice to have. Um, you can never go wrong with having more options. In the WooCommerce platform for e-commerce stores, I've tried it out a couple times, uh, edited a bit on some of my client websites. WooCommerce is pretty solid. Um, now, uh, compared to something like Weebly, yeah, might need a little bit more setup. You might have to dig into some of the code for specific needs. Uh, but WooCommerce is definitely the platform to go to for e-commerce on WordPress. And uh, I don't have it installed on my website, so I can't really show that right now. That would have been cool. Maybe should have noted that for the next video. Um, but anyway, uh, stores that you can set up on it would include selling physical products, selling digital products. Uh, there was one where selling uh, digital fonts for download and that kind of thing. Uh, so it's very comparable to the, the Weebly platform in a lot of ways. Uh, just that I would say if you're doing Weebly e-commerce or any of those other managed websites rather than a CMS, uh, that they do hold your hand a little bit better. Uh, to get WooCommerce going, it's possible to do it yourself but it may be a bit tricky for beginners. Uh, that said, there's a lot of functionality for it, and you can add a lot of extra stuff in with the official WooCommerce uh, plugins or some um, third-party ones that you can find on ThemeForce. And just to be clear, WooCommerce is not the uh, WordPress team. Uh, they're two separate entities. 
So WooCommerce team is just purely about that WooCommerce plugin, but it's a big plugin and any WordPress site that has a store is probably running on it. Um, and then 10, this one might be a little bit redundant because I've talked a bit about it, but there's a large developer, designer, and community support for the platform as basically the most popular um, CMS that's out there on the market right now. You obviously can get the most support from both random people in the community who ran into issues and are asking questions, uh, but also uh, lots of developers and designers are going to spring up, and they have, to kind of cater around these niches. So uh, out there in Seattle, uh, one company I know of is Cool Blue Web. They're an agency which does uh, mostly uh, WooCommerce websites, but uh, just WordPress in general as well. Um, and also Magento websites, which is another CMS, uh, more specifically business focused, where WordPress, uh, a lot of people just use it for blogs as well. Um, but if you have some money, that would be a cool company to check out for sure. And uh, aside from that, yeah, that's pretty much the top 10 there. So I hope I've given you a lot of information to kind of mull over. Uh, if you need a bit more, read the blog post down below, links to ChrisTutorials.com. I've been Chris. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my future video content. So until then.